very good morning to one and all. Wishing you all the best for the day ahead. This is Deva Agustin, Head Department of Corporate Secretaryship, signing in for the webinar, Building a Successful Startup. Our Department of Corporate Secretaryship is structured in a way that students acquire in-depth knowledge in corporate secretaryship and provides a platform for the students to pursue company secretaryship as their profession. On the outset, to sing is to pray twice. Now, I invite our college choir to beseech the blessing of Almighty through the prayer song. On behalf of IQAC, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, and Innovation Cell of our college, I deem it a great privilege to welcome you all for this webinar. I hail our chairman, sir, Chevalier Dr. N. R. Dhanapalan, our secretary, Line Mr. N. R. D. Prem Kumar, sir, our joint secretary, sir, Line Dr. P. E. R. Premchan, for the. I welcome our guest speaker, Dr. Smiley Bose. Head in charge of corporate secretaryship of and bank management of St. Peter's Institute of Higher Education and Research. Welcome you, ma'am. I welcome our beloved principal, ma'am, Dr. Kamala Balakrishnan, our IPAC coordinator and vice principal, ma'am, Mrs. Zafia Solomon for this event. I welcome all our department heads, faculties, students, and virtual participants. Once again, I welcome you all. The participants can pose a queries, if any, in the chat box, which would be dealt by the end of the session. Participants should fill the feedback form to secure the e-certificate. Now, I invite Dr. M. Manivannan, Assistant Professor from the Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to introduce our guest speaker for the session. Good morning to all. It's my great pleasure to introduce the chief guest for the today's webinar, Building a Successful Startup, organized by IQSC and Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Innovation and ED Still. Our chief guest is Dr. S. Smiley Bose, Associate Professor, Ed in Charge, Department of Corporate Secretaryship and Bank Management in St. Peter's Institute of Research and Higher Education Avadi Chennai. She has completed her undergraduate and postgraduate degree from Women's Christian College, Nagarkoi. She was awarded doctoral degree in commerce entitled The Role of Adolescents in Family Purchase Making Decision from Manon Manian. She has also worked as an IQSC director in Nazareth College of Arts and Science. She is interested in doing research. She has presented so many research papers in national and international conference and seminars, 
and also she published so many articles in reputed journals she is also a member in indian academicians and researchers association and indian accounting association she is also a motivational speaker who is interested to bring a transformation in the young mind she uploaded so many motivational videos in her youtube channel named seed and faith she is passionate to work among the young to lead them reach their unexpected destiny welcome you ma'am now the session is yours ma'am thank you thank you so much it's my great privilege uh, to be part of this college webinar i'm very happy to meet you all through this platform i thank the management the principal the vice principal and the department head of corporate secretaryship as well the iqc coordinator and the coordinator of innovation and edsel i'm very happy to address you on the topic building a successful startup nowadays we hear a lot of lot about startup businesses entrepreneurship it's very important i would like to ask you a question why entrepreneurship are a startup or a business is given important in a nation you you all have different perspectives and different ideas why uh, why we want to pursue entrepreneurship many of us in researches it shows to make a profit and to become famous and uh, some say it is their vision so lot of things are there behind uh, becoming an entrepreneur or doing a business okay so today we are going to see about why we are going to build a successful start okay so let me share my presentation so that you get the you can get or capture the idea clearly okay so what is a startup so we many of us think that startup is just a business just an entrepreneurship but we must differentiate between these terms then only you will get the clear picture of what i'm going to say so what is a startup our government that is ministry of commerce and industries of the indian government has given a definition for startup okay any entity is called as a startup but that startup cannot okay cannot continue an existing building or they can uh, business or they cannot rebuild an existing business okay for example already a hotel business is there clothing business is there textiles everything is there so shoe business is there okay so food industry so what you are going to do innovatively existing already existing thing you cannot rebuild or reconstruct and say that this is my startup okay so startup is something which come out of your innovation something creative okay you are going to start a food business what innovation are you going to give in that that is startup for this startup initiative government has taken lot of measure to bring out the budding entrepreneurs in our country okay so starting startup is very essential for this young stage students so that the college the, the college management everybody encourage the students to get into it to think innovatively so that your college is also having an innovation cell a ed cell or a incubation center to incubate new entrepreneurs friends so I, i hope that you got the idea about oh, what is a startup so i think you can capture the rest of the idea from my presentation so why it's necessary to build a startup we all know that a country is a nation's economy is decided with the gdp okay so gdp is very important to 
estimate how well the nation is going on what is the economic situation of a nation so it is necessary for a nation to have good production through business okay through startups through um, various entrepreneurship activities so it is very necessary for a nation to have young generations to come up with new ideas to start a business so that only your college is also having a innovation cell a ed cell so kindly make effective utilize you use of it okay so you might have you, you might be thinking i am here to pursue a degree why i should become an entrepreneur what is the necessary of becoming an entrepreneur there is a necessity for you to become an entrepreneur in this nation because our nation's economical situation is decided by the gross domestic product so if you are pursuing business if younger generation started to pursue business it is easy for a nation to grow so the growth of the nation is in the hands of the younger generation that's why college college management and every higher education institution are striving to make these younger students or young young, young aspirants to become an entrepreneur so next what is the missing link between a successful and a failure start we this you must definitely understand okay uh, there is something missing successful and failure startup because uh, startup is very essential but people are very afraid to go for a startup because you know when they are coming through different news or when they are surfing the net they they see that many failure startups are there many successful they come across both the news then they they are very much confused why why should i start up what is the missing link between these two nothing other than your attitude attitude is very important to become an entrepreneur or to start up your business okay so your positive attitude is the foundation to become a successful entrepreneur or to start a successful startup okay so change your attitude change your thinking what how you are thinking your thinking become your belief system that becomes your attitude so if you think that i am not capable of i cannot do it then you will never do it okay so uh, let me give you an example so that you can get uh, uh, what i am coming to say so we all know that lion is the king of the jungle but lion is not the largest animal it is not the heaviest animal it is not the uh, longest or largest or tallest or neither a heaviest animal but why lion is called as the king of the jungle because of its attitude whether it is longest animal largest animal tallest animal or heaviest animal whatever it may be the lion look into the problems as an opportunity so its attitude is different it when an animal appear in front of a lion it sees at the animal as its meal it is not afraid of other animals so attitude plays an important role to start a business okay so this is the missing link when you capture this you can be very confident enough to start a business so key for building a successful startup there are three different keys three very important keys to start a successful startup number one is ideas number two is vision and number three is innovation okay these three are the keys please register in your mind ideas your ideas your vision and the innovation which comes out of your ideas and vision going to make your startup or your business successful or your entrepreneur career successful okay so first ideas your idea is your business okay so we get lot of ideas in our mind but all ideas we just you no know, take it for granted we don't implement it or we don't study on that we don't refine our gifts we don't refine our ideas we have lot of problems around this so when even in your own home 
you face a lot of problems. When you are facing the problems, you get an idea, but you leave it just like that. You doesn't proceed after that. That is the problem with the younger generation. You all have good ideas, but you are not likely to work on that. This is because of your mental conditioning. The way you feed your mind has become has spoiled the ideas. So, my dear friends, my dear students, kindly give concentration or give attention to your ideas. When something new come out of your mind. kindly capture it work on it that becomes your business okay see it as an opportunity okay whenever you come across different problems there are a lot of ideas you you yourself will create some ideas you yourself will solve certain problem in your home you it may be helpful for your mother or your father or someone at your home that is your idea why can't you work on that ideas are ruling the world ideas have become successful business once upon a time computers were built in a large room it was big as a size of a big room but nowadays see we are sitting and using it in our lap or in our hand or in our desk the idea of converting that big massive size computer to a desk is an idea so they have studied that they have refined that they have got knowledge about how to how to make the idea come to possibility so you can also do don't make your ideas to die work on your ideas kindly write your ideas as soon as you pop up with an idea kindly take down if you are very much interested to start a business the first key is your ideas it's not finance it's not about money okay it's not about uh, where the place or the location where you are going to start your business it's not about that it is your ideas it, your ideas is the basic key to start a business when you have good ideas people will come for your ideas they will pay for your ideas it can be converted to patents startup india movement which was started during the year 2016 they are helping the startup entrepreneurs to come to come out in flying colors for they have lot of programs for that they provide seed money for your idea they provide help help they provide help from successful entrepreneurs to the budding entrepreneurs so ideas can be generated and it can be worked out to become a big business so kindly never ignore your ideas pay attention to it you can work on your ideas and you can create a beautiful business out of it okay so ideas are your investment that is the key investment ideas are your gift it's a natural thing which is coming out of you okay so if you want to have lot of ideas you must listen to good things you must see good things you must you know connected with good people then only your uh, thoughts will be good you will generate good ideas when your fellowship when your environment everything is bad and when your thinking is bad nothing is positive every, every, whatever you get inside you is poor and out of quality then your ideas is also poor it is it is not that quality so kindly pay attention to what you are doing what you are seeing what you are thinking everything matters for a businessman if you want to become a business person if you want to become an entrepreneur it is very important to take care of your mind because ideas are generated in your mind so kindly pay attention to your mind what you are doing is very important what you are feeding your mind is very important so kindly pay attention to it so that you come up with beautiful ideas which is useful for the society and in turn it is useful for the nation as well okay so uh, finally see ideas outlive you when you first it okay you had an idea you perceived it and it has become a big business and even after you die your ideas live for example you take steve jobs he is not with us now but his ideas still live okay 
there is no one in the world without knowing about iphone everybody know about apple it is his idea his own idea but it is outliving him that is very important if you perceive on your ideas it will outlive you okay next is ideas have the power to rule the ideas which the dead man has left it's still ruling the nations it's still ruling the world okay so don't leave your ideas just like that taken if you want to become a business person or an entrepreneur or if you aspire to start a business as new startup an innovative startup whenever you pop up with a new idea kindly make note of it so that you can refine your idea start your enterprises okay then only you can work on your idea then only you can search things then only you can work out your strategies on that without writing putting down anything in your notes you cannot you will forget that so whenever your ideas pops out definitely do make make a note of it and work on it okay next see everything is a process we all know that everything goes in a process okay so our ideas this i talked about the idea so i think there is no further explanation for that your ideas will become your passion i told that you must make a note of your ideas when you make a note of your ideas automatically a passion will be created okay uh, some sort of emotional feeling towards that towards that idea if that passion is there there is a reason for waking up every day in the morning and you will start to perceive it so after you get an idea have a passion towards that okay next commit towards that for commitment it takes a lot of self discipline okay without self discipline there is no commitment you want to get go or let go so many things in your life to start your to work on your ideas okay so it it may be possible that you let go your friends your bad habits your bad lifestyle everything bad which is unnecessary for your ideas you want to let it go if it becomes a stumbling block if you find if some of your practices or behaviors or habitual living if anything is a stumbling block for you to perceive your ideas kindly let it go then only you can get committed to that and work on that okay commitment requires self discipline without self discipline you cannot become a successful business person okay it is very important to have a if you want to have a successful startup it is very necessary that you stay committed towards what you desire for okay so after your idea you must be passionate towards your idea the next thing after your idea it is commitment you stay committed towards your ideas next vision which is very important okay without vision business is nothing to do with today's day or tomorrow's or two or three years no it's not like that it should be a long term process even after you it should outlive so you must have a longest vision okay somebody had an idea of you know producing gadgets like this cell phones smartphones all these things is an idea they worked on it okay they had a vision after these many years this landline phone is going to be converted to a smart phone this is an idea every everybody can carry wireless then so it is a vision okay it is a long process business is not for a short period okay then you are not a successful business person okay even though when you are aspiring to start something don't limit your vision don't limit your sight see foresee something for a very far future okay then comes out your new business then again the cycle continues it is a non stopping cycle then again new idea then passion after you start a business and when your business start running after one or two years you will come across different competitors different innovations you want to 
compete with everyone. So it is a cyclical process. We cannot stop just like that. Okay. After year by year or after two or three years, you want to keep on working on that again, idea, passion, commitment, vision, and new business. Then again, it is a cyclical process in all successful business. If you study all successful business people, they work on like this. They don't stick into the same. They are keeping on working. Okay, so it is very important you want to work on your idea and never forget the process in which your idea should revolve again and again and again. Okay, next, next important key. The first key which we have seen is idea. Okay, now you have got an idea. Next is vision. Okay, already I talked something about vision in uh, during we discussed about idea. Anyway, I'm explaining it again to you. Vision is not about seeing your present thing. It is something you want to see ahead. It is seeing the future. It is not about seeing the present situation. Business or startup should always be built on foreseeing something, not based on the present situation. Okay. Okay, some during now we have we are facing a pandemic situation. Now a lot of business has emerged. Do you know that? Online people, those who are sitting idle and watching news and crying over that, they are doing that once again. Yes, we all are affected. Nothing uh, to say about that, but still life should go on. Business are going on. Life is moving on. We need to survive in this world. So you should have a vision, okay, of starting a business. In this pandemic situation also, a lot of online business have emerged. A lot of entrepreneurship has emerged. A lot of startups have emerged. You can also do, you can also become, as a youngster, as a student, there is a startup club in your college. There is an innovation cell in your college. Call, they will help you when you come out with a new idea. They will help to convert your ideas into an innovation, and easily you can get a patent for that. People are ready to invest for your business. So don't limit yourself in generating ideas or uh, to look far for your future because nowadays students are very much worried about their finance. I'm not that much rich to start a business. Richness is apart. Your um, finance is apart. Your money is apart. First, your idea. First, I said the link missing is attitude. Change your attitude. Then generate idea. Then foresee your future. Don't think about money. Money is not primary thing in the business. It is important for a business. You need to generate profit. Everything is important. But don't see it as a primary thing. It should not be a stumbling block for you to start a business. Okay, I hope you got my point. If you decide to start a business, your money or your richness or your status, nothing, nothing cannot stop you. If you have a good idea, if you have a beautiful vision for seeing the future, definitely you are a successful business person. Seek and it, you will find definitely. Okay, so you, sh you should have a, a futuristic vision. You should be a visionary leader. Okay, here you can see two islands. I just want to tell you a story that... Um, then you will get to the whole uh, idea about how a visionary leader should function. Okay, uh, so that is a beautiful island. Uh, so a person visited the island. Okay, so he was uh, just for a vacation. He was visiting the island. So he saw a nearby island which was very dump and uh, it's full of garbage. Okay, so he was thinking why this island is filled with garbage. He inquired all the people when he was on vacation. He was just speaking with his driver and the person available in the local shops. He was inquiring everyone about the island. What happened to this island? Why it is so dumb? Why it is so dirty? Why this government is not taking care of the island? Then everybody say that they, are, they didn't mind. The people of that uh, island they never mind about that they they happily told that we dump all the waste all our food waste e-waste everything in that particular island this person was very surprised and by seeing that island he had a vision in his mind he approached the concern officials and he talked with them and he was ready to purchase that particular island they all laughed at him why this person is going to buy that island? 
it is filled with waste it is a waste land they all laughed at him but he never mind because he had a vision in his mind he was thinking about that he was working on that so he went and bought the island for a very cheap rate they also sold the island okay after few months that particular person he left the vacation and after few months he came with all the materials and everything he cleaned the island and he started to build a hotel everybody was surprised to see the people living in that island never thought never had a vision of building a resort there because their island is very famous for tourists tourist it is a very famous tourist part but they never had an idea of converting that waste land into a beautiful land they never had a vision the administrative people they never the political leaders they didn't had a vision but this particular person had a vision he converted that dump island into a beautiful land and he built a beautiful hotel people started visiting that island and people started to stay there billion and billion of dollars money came into that it become a successful business okay it is very important to be a visionary leader whatever you see you you should look into as it as an opportunity and you should see it in a futuristic way how i can develop this to a product or how i can develop this to be a service how i can serve this you should think in that perspective then you can become a visionary leader this dump land has become a beautiful island with hotel so they never thought that this is going to be a beautiful place see dear friends and children the students around you there is lot of dump places there are lot of dump things around you lot of waste things around you don't stop there think of something think or come with new ideas government is ready to give you a startup chance there are people to fund you even the college if your college have a startup cell or a incubation cell it is their duty to fund you with seed money it is the uh, duty of the uh, incubation cell to nurture you incubate you for one or two years so don't worry about your place or how to start about money don't think have an idea have a vision for see people are ready to invest on your ideas and your vision so kindly work on that be a visionary leader you have lot of problems around you you have lot of uh, islands like this island lot of dump islands around you you can make it beautiful with your beautiful ideas ideas and vision are very important if you want to build a startup if you want to build a successful startup okay so have a vision the next final key is innovation okay without innovation there is no startup okay innovation is necessary for a startup in the beginning itself i told you the ministry of commerce and industries have given a definition for a startup okay any entity is called as a startup okay so any entity but it cannot do an existing business okay they should come with an innovative idea so innovation is the very important key for a startup okay so if you want to register with startup india or if you want to um, get the commencement certificate and everything if you want to undergo all those process you want to be a innovative leader or a innovative business person or a innovative entrepreneur okay why our government has initiated this because they want to make the nation better make the living place that the society better okay so in order to protect everything around us even the uh, even the environment they are giving chances for young young entrepreneurs like you to emerge into business through startups okay so make use of this opportunity okay now we will see what is innovation okay what is innovation innovation means many will think what i will invent i am not a scientist what i am going to invent i cannot think like that no don't worry about that innovation is very simple 
simple concept okay if you understand that you will be very successful okay i would like to show you something so that um, you will understand what so see how innovation function can you all see this object in my hand okay this is a pen okay this is is this a pen okay this is a pen okay yes this is a pen okay you can use this to write okay see here a bird is given this is used to this during this pandemic you can use this as your sixth finger that it is it has been given and see in between this you have a gap in between this okay so for what this is used is to hold the mobile it is a mobile stand like this you can have it like this okay see your mobile stands there next in the back side what you can see is a sanitizer see to sanitize so this is a multi purpose pen okay it can be used as a pen it can be used as a mobile holder it can be used as a sanitizer even okay this is an idea this is a innovation okay so is that any difficult to innovate something like that no definitely not everything is already available pen is already available sanitizer is already available then mobile holder is already available combination of all these things become an innovation become a new innovation right so if you want to start a business you want to be an innovative thinker okay so innovation is nothing but combination of an existing thing and your new ideas okay i hope you got it okay and uh, see uh, already the build uh, material used to build vehicles is already available even the very foundation of the world okay but now only we are inventing everything the object used to you know fly the fly aeroplane whatever it is the materials used to build that everything is available even from the very foundation of the world so when people combine existing things and new things when by seeing the birds right brothers found that we can also fly we can use objects to fly the laws are already available materials are already available so work on that okay a uh, old cow is a new shoe okay an old sheep is a new sweater a woolen sweater think like that okay so uh, people you know in, in uh, think innovatively this is how you want to think new okay i hope now you must have understand innovation is or creating something is nothing you know it is a rocket science thing it is just easy as like that okay you must have the desire first you want to have the desire then everything comes automatically so that only i told when you in the beginning itself i told you want to change your attitude okay when preparing the slide itself i was thinking why i should keep the slide in the beginning i can have it in the at the last no then i thought no it's very essential they want to understand that attitude matters a lot before entering into a startup okay so when you surround yourself with good people educated people then when you listen to good things when you see good things new ideas will come you will have a good vision you will think innovatively you will combine existing things and new things and you will find something beautiful innovatively so many children nowadays in colleges they do innovate they come up with innovative ideas and now with that they are getting patent for their products lot of patent products are there you can surf the net and you can see for things how people are doing things innovatively if you are continuously watching movie and if you are completely engaged in entertainment and your mobile phone and social media nothing is going to come or pop up of you as a student you must be very much concerned about your mind and your attitude it is very important kindly feed your mind with good thoughts if you want to become a successful person or if you want to run a successful um, Uh, startup if you want to build a successful startup what you want to do is kindly condition your mind then only innovation will come when your mind is filled with junk nothing is going to come out of your mind no ideas are going to come okay so whatever we are in search of that only we will find 
okay when you are when you are always keeping on searching for entertainments and you know social media friends chit chat everything then you will find that only that is not your goal that is not your life understand that apart from that there is lot of things to do for the uh, society you are born to serve something serve your gift you want to identify your core passion then innovation will automatically come you want to work on that okay after identifying your core passion work on that when you work on that read good books see good things uh, communicate and have good environment have a good uh, surround surrounded with good people then everything work out for good for you okay so new uh, create innovation is to create new approaches to do deal with existing problems next i told as i told you it is a combination of old and new things and innovation is the development process okay to solve old and new problems it is a process innovation is already we have lot of problems in the society you can come with problems it is the young generation you are responsible for the society think in that way come up with new ideas new business new startups that is why your college is also striving to come up with a starting innovation club they have ed club okay they want you to become a successful entrepreneur okay they are ready to help you cooperate with them then you will be successful okay innovation is thinking out of the box you want to think something different if everybody is thinking the same think something different if everybody is thinking of starting a hotel business think something new in that what is different in your hotel business that is innovation okay everybody is starting textile shop and all common things everybody will start okay provisional stores these are the things our people are thinking these are the only business which will be very successful you are thinking in that term no in that also what is innovative in you think in that term okay before we had before it's we have this cab system before it's but everything has been made online booking has been online for our convenience it is an already existed thing the problem is to make us convenient they made everything online now from home we book we track everything we do from our home at our convenience right so whatever you are going to start think something new in that it is very essential for starting a startup startup business okay next now we have seen three important keys to build a successful startup okay hope uh, you remember all the three keys once again i'll repeat anyway ideas vision and innovation these three things are very important to become or to build a successful startup okay to become a successful entrepreneur you need all these things with you then only you can become successful okay now we will come to potential now you may think in your mind okay idea okay vision okay innovation okay am i capable of all these things you may think like that okay in your mind you will be thinking am i capable of all these things can i do this okay everybody as a student you will be thinking i am not capable i am coming from a very low economical background my father is working like this my family is not supportive uh, i cannot do this when you think that you are hiding your potential everybody has a purpose to live and everybody has a potential inside okay everyone's purpose is not same and everyone's ability is also not the same potential is nothing but the ability to do something everybody has the ability to do something for example if i am good at speaking i can be a public speaker i can be a motivational speaker i can be a inspirational speaker i, I can be a keynote speaker okay so my potential i am bringing out my potential so you, what you are good at it need not to be the same for everyone identify your unique quality that will help you to stay success in your startup 
okay so what is your potential what is your ability bring out that bring out your potential potential is what you have what you can do but what you have not done it that is your potential you are capable of doing something but you have not done that it because of shame you will you will think that what my father will think what my pay, what my brother will think what my uh, neighbors will think what my friend will think what my teachers will think they are not going to come with you they are not going to live your life think beyond that okay so don't hide your potential for someone or something okay so you must uncover your potential if you does not understand your purpose in life you will not identify your potential okay everything has a purpose if we take a seed okay we will take a seed mango seed what comes out of a mango seed a mango tree okay that mango seed has the potential to bear a mango tree it does not has the potential to bear a apple tree okay you got it so you have a purpose as the seed of a mango you also having a purpose you can give what you are capable of okay only human beings are giving the fruits which is not you know uh, it is not unique for them they copy others and they they bring fruits different fruits daily one day mango one day banana one day you know pomegranate one day orange we are living like that jack of all trade and master of none that should not be our life we are unique we have a purpose find the purpose find your core passion what is your gift what you love to do something we love to do no uh, you think about that what is my gift what is my natural gift we love that them, them to do naturally we will not be hungry we will be very passionate about that when while doing that we will not worry about anything at any cost we want to perform that that is your natural gift anything which you do uh, unlikingly it is not your natural gift so untap your potential bring expose your gift serve your gift okay everybody is born with a gift that is your business that should become your idea what you are capable to do should become your vision idea and from out of that should come your innovations don't copy others in business if you are copying others in business you cannot stay long in the business you cannot stay successful in the business okay success is a result so you cannot find that result in your business if you are keeping on copying someone else so please dear students my dear friends kindly untap your potential find out your gift what should come out of you you should find out a mango seed can only bear a mango tree a mango fruit okay or uh, out of that seed comes a mango tree not a pomegranate or apple tree okay so from you also the gift should come out your purpose should come out your potential should come out of that okay see if you don't know your purpose you will probably live below your potential okay here also i want to um, explain to you a story so that you will get what i'm coming to say okay so there is a famous fable tale about a farmer who lived in a hill okay he was living in the hill he had a chicken coop and daily he used to take care of the chicken he is growing hens at his chicken coop okay so daily he will come from the hill to the valley and he'll purchase everything for his family and he'll go visit market and visit local friends and everyone and he'll go so often he used to visit the place and he'll go while coming from down the hill he found a egg it was huge in size okay comparing to the uh, uh, eggs of the hen so he was surprised and he was looking here and there around him and he couldn't find anyone around and no birds around him so he took the egg and he put it in his bag and he went to the market and after completing all his tasks and he again went to his farm house where he grew his chicken his hens okay in the chicken coop he laid this egg also okay what happened is this egg hatched this egg hatched out and a eaglet came out of this uh, egg okay but uh, in the beginning the farmer couldn't identify 
this eaglet also grow along with the chicken okay so when it grew the farmer identified that it is not a hen it is not a chicken it is a eaglet okay but the farmer let it grow among the chicken and he want to see what is happening okay the what the eagle thought is that it is a hen and it become to live a life like a hen it was pecking around for insects in the soil like other hens and it was eating what it was fed and it was flying a little you no know, hens we all know it won't fly okay just it will just reach a small height only so like that it was flying and it lost all its potential because it was thinking that it is a chicken it lost its purpose it does not know what it is born for the eagle lost its purpose many of you are living like that you does not know what is your purpose and again you are living a life below your potential you are capable to do so many things like this eagle you can high fly high above the clouds like the eagle but you are limiting yourself like the hen one day this uh, farmer's friend visited the farm and the farmer told see i am uh, growing up a eaglet in the chicken form he was surprised what you are growing a eagle let me see then he saw it was acting behaving and doing everything exactly same as the hen he was very surprised he told that it should fly high above it is not a hen okay let me try he began he just went to a cliff and he just made the eagle to fly eagle was frightened to fly it didn't fly it fall off the cliff all the life the eagle lived a life thinking that it is a chicken and it live below its potential eagle has the capacity to fly above the cloud the only bird which fly above the cloud is the eagle the only bird which fly even during a hurricane or torrent or a heavy wind the only bird comes out and fly is the eagle but now the eagle has lost its purpose it does not identify its potential it's living below its potential my dear students you are also sometimes thinking that i am not capable of doing this i cannot i cannot when your teachers come and call you for an entrepreneur cell or a innovation club you are not ready you think that i am not a creator i am not a visionary leader i am not an entrepreneur no all of you are capable to start a business everyone can start a business in the area of your gifting find your purpose find your potential don't live below your potential when teachers approach you to come and join in the innovation cell kindly join when the teacher approach you to come and join in the ed cell kindly join the higher education cell the higher sorry higher education is striving to make make yourself as a budding entrepreneur to serve the society in that way you make the nation grow so identify your po don't say that this is i my potential is very small my gift is very small don't say like that you are about even see michael michael jackson we all know he is famous for his dances right he didn't think it is just a dance he didn't think like that nowadays people are thinking just a dance just a singing just just we think like that we all know tiger woods he is very famous for golf okay cricket we all know mahendra singh dhoni he is very famous they worked on that they worked on their purpose they identify their purpose they made their potential to come out they served it okay so for building a successful entrepreneur it is very necessary that you must have the three important key along with your purpose and attitude it is very important identifying your purpose so that you will not live be below your potential changing your attitude that is your mental conditioning so that you can use these three keys successfully to become a successful entrepreneur okay so don't think very you know it is very difficult something starting something is very difficult it's not like that it is very easy innovative something is not difficult i hope the examples which i have given you is useful for you to become a visionary leader it is not difficult everything is around you 
okay it is you who is going to approach that with your attitude if you have identify your purpose definitely you will be a good business person you will immediately start your business kindly speak with your teachers of your innovation cell or your ed cell kindly give your ideas to them they will help you to promote your ideas they will help you to get out get uh, patent rights for your ideas people are there for investing incubation centers can be formed in your college so that the in, the uh, students can be incubated those who are coming with ideas you can be incubated there you can grow your business there okay till 5 years government will see you as a startup business they have a limit uh, for start uh, being a business as a startup after that you cannot stay in that startup case okay so startup india is a good movement to connect you with kindly connect with that okay so that you can be successful next finally purpose of startup okay everybody has a purpose likewise startup is also having a purpose okay what to transform you should transform something in the society you should bring change your innovation cannot be uh, only for making profits understand that it is not only for making profit it is to transform okay next to deploy to deploy is to take a right stand and give employment to others our government is trying to do that only through startups so many um, employments can be given to uh, people okay unemployment to eradicate that they are striving to give a startup to encourage the startup encourage the budding entrepreneurs next is to create to innovate you want to keep on innovating innovation is not a single process it is a continuous process you want to keep on working on that okay so next is to serve you cannot uh, what you invented or what you uh, what you have what ideas you have you cannot keep it for yourself you should serve that okay have you see trees fruit trees they produce fruits and they don't eat they don't consume themselves they serve okay we only consume it right so your ideas then don't think your mom is saying what she is saying uh, she is telling us to serve then what we will do for our profit no you will get profit then you serve it automatically people co will come after you for what you are for what your idea is okay next is to pass it on okay it should not die with you it should be passed it on to generation that's why i call uh, entrepreneur as a visionary leader you should be a visionary leader okay so that you can pass it on to generation it should not die with you i told you uh, steve jobs as example he's not with us today but still his ideas live his products are famous all around okay so don't stop next barriers to start your business what is the barrier to start a startup number one is fear okay you all are afraid of yourself is you even though you have the potential you are afraid you are afraid of your teacher what they will say you are afraid of your friend you are afraid of your environment you are afraid of your family members you are afraid you have a lot of fears if you have fear you cannot be successful in your life you cannot start a business so come out of your business come sorry come out of your fear so that you can start a business okay next is ignorance what is ignorance without having enough knowledge without enough having enough knowledge you cannot start a business as soon as you have a idea i told you, you should refine the idea refining the idea means uh you must educate yourself on the idea okay if you are ignorant about what is happening around you you cannot be successful uh, we we government is giving lot of programs lot of initiative programs for business entrepreneurship startups incubation for everything they have programs so if you does not have enough idea about that it is very difficult for you to pursue entrepreneurship okay next final is attitude the beginning also i told attitude attitude is the stumbling block for you to have a successful startup so kindly my dear students if you want to pursue entrepreneurship or if you want to start a business 
startup, if you want to build a business, kindly change your attitude. Have a positive attitude. Change your belief system. Change, don't think that I cannot. I, I will not. Okay, I am not rich. I don't have enough financial background. Don't think like that. Your idea is the key. Your vision is the key. Your innovation is the key. Think, have that in mind and change your attitude and work on that. Definitely, you will be a successful business person. You can build a successful startup. Okay. So, my dear friends, don't take your ideas to the grave. Serve it now. Okay. So, finally, this is final. Why many startups does not succeed? Okay. So, there are many startups have emerged in the previous five years, but all the startups are not successful. Why means in Harvard Business School, they have conducted a research. They have found out that lack of focus, lack of motivation, lack of commitment, and lack of uh, good resource persons around, uh, around them, experts around them to uh, you know, um, guide them they fail in entrepreneurship or they they become a failure startup okay it becomes a failure startup so my dear friends see they have found out that commitment focus everything is important even your attitude is important to stay make your business successful okay so uh, don't worry about why i'm touching is this they have found out that all this young age group they are they are not focused. They are not committed. They all want to start, but they are not committed. And even they don't have a focus on that. Okay. As soon as they enter, they want more men, money. It is not uh, with business. It's not like that with business. Okay. So every business, it, it want to undergo a test. If you talk with all top business people, they will tell what test they have undergone to check their authenticity. Okay, so if you also want to start a business, your authenticity will be also tested. You want to uh, get through a tough time. So don't think that uh, if I have an idea, if I have a vision, if I have an innovation, I can. No, you must be having an attitude, right attitude to take all the tests in the right way. You may have uh, small failures. You may have financial problems. These all things will be there. Overcoming that and building a startup will make your business stand successful. Okay. So if you, everything in life has a purpose. So if you got a purpose, don't wait. Start it today. To, I wish you all a very, no, I wish you all the best to become a successful entrepreneur or to build a successful startup. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. For your wonderful session and the presentation is very good it should be very useful for the students and also the young entrepreneurs those who are having some interest to start up the businesses we have some uh, questions ma'am yes how the idea to be converted as an investment Ideas to be converted into investments. As an okay. investment. Yes. See, if you have an idea, you should, you know, through incubation center or through innovation club only, these ideas can uh, convert it into an investment. Okay. Uh, directly, they cannot do. Directly, the students cannot, you know, just approach and uh, ask for investment. Okay. There are people to invest for good ideas. For that, you should take a proper channel. Okay. Uh, proper channel is there. Uh, there is an app uh, in uh, Startup India. If you visit that website, you will have the idea. They ha there is an application form. You want to apply for that. And if you have your own incubation center in your college, 
there you can give an application about your ideas there they will uh, scrutiny your idea and if your ideas are innovative and new then they will give you a chance they will fund you they will give you a seed money and the place to work and they will connect you with um, experts in entrepreneurship or experts related to your ideas to work on that okay for one or two years you can stay in the incubation center and after you uh, you are ready to fly out you can move out and start your own business okay ma'am ma'am next one how to overcome the barriers to make a start successful startup Barriers. Yes, you have a lot of barriers. That is, I addressed in my PPT also. So the main barrier is your mind. Yourself is the barrier. You yourself is the barrier to start a startup. Okay, you have a lot of opportunities around us. Now we are going online. Everywhere we are going online. You have a lot of opportunity to learn something new through webinars like this. You have a lot of startup programs free through Startup India Movement. You can go visit the site. There also they are offering a lot of lecture speaks, experts speak also. So uh, when you connect yourself with the people or when you connect with yourself uh, with with experts okay so you get some ideas okay so when you talk with them let's slow by slow you will you can overcome your fear number one number two is your mindset okay so you must change your mindset first of all when i have you i have talked with many students what they are saying is uh, no i cannot do this i am not capable of doing this okay their attitude is different no you must change to a mind said that i can do it you can do it once you can try after trying you can decide whether you are not capable or not capable of without trying or without stepping into that you cannot decide okay so these are all the barriers to overcome this barriers you you should start working from yourself okay we can motivate you we can guide you but working from within will help you to overcome the barrier okay we cannot come inside your mind and we cannot change things okay so you should go into your mind to change certain um, attitude behaviors and your uh, behavioral changes if you make some changes in that definitely you can overcome the fear and the barriers to become see finance is seen as the major barriers okay finance is not at all a barrier okay as i said your mindset is the barrier when you overcome that definitely you will come up with new ideas people are ready to invest for that okay when you go through a proper channel after getting a patent people are ready in search of ideas okay if your idea is patented there is no barrier for finance nothing everything easily flows into you will be easily get connected to people also okay, okay. thank you ma'am thank you for your valuable information ma'am you have to say anything ma'am No, it was a wonderful session. I'm really happy uh, to connect with your college through this platform. I really thank um, Deepa, ma'am, as well as I thank Mr. Manimanan for arranging this session to be successful. I thank the admin people also. Then once again, I thank the management principal, vice principal, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Okay. All. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I come to conclude the conclude session. I have to remember the participants. So to fill the feedback form, feedback form in the chat box and get your E certificate. Now I invite Ms. Nitya, ma'am, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Showing gratitude is one of the simplest yet most powerful things humans can do for each other. i feel honored and privileged having an opportunity to deliver the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion on the behalf of department corporate secretaryship i would like to thank our chief guest dr s smiley bose for her motivation speech inspirational thoughts and sharing her valuable information on the topic building a successful startup i express my heartfelt thanks to our chairman sir Chevalier Dr. N R Danapalan, Secretary Sir Lion, Mr. N R Prem Kumar, and Joint Secretary Sir Lion Dr. P E R Premchand 
sir, for their enormous support and guidance. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our beloved principal, ma'am, Dr. Kamala Balakrishnan, and vice principal and IQAC coordinator, Mrs. Jafia Solomon, ma'am, for their immense support and guidance. I also express our most sincere thanks to all our department heads, faculty members, students, and all virtual participants for making this webinar a grand success. I would also like to extend our sincere thanks to technical team, Mr. Yuvanesh sir, Dr. Vinod sir, and Mr. Loganathan sir for their great support. Gentle reminder, participants kindly fill the feedback form through the link posted in the chat box for your e-certificate. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you. Thank you.